Well, next year I'm performing for the for first time with Orpheus Chamber Orchestra. We're playing Prokofiev Concerto Number no. Two, and I must say, for me, this is an incredibly exciting project. Of course, having been to many of or Orpheus concerts in New York while being a student there, I've always admired that large sense of chamber music making. The concerto was written in uh, 1936, just as Prokofiev was getting over the period of uh, being influenced by, by Honegger, by, by, by Stravinsky. He then suddenly feels that he has to go, first of all, go, go back to his roots, and he writes a Russian piece. The, the opening of the concerto could only be compared, I don't know, to, to the opening of Rachmaninoff's third piano concerto. Uh, this unmistakably Russian melody that, that just grips you from, from, the, from the first note and never lets you go. Prokofiev's melodic gift is probably the greatest in the 20th century. The, the way he could write a melody and then, and then develop it, is, uh, for me, is absolutely unparalleled. Well, I'm, I'm playing on uh, an incredible violin, which is on loan to me from the Stadivari Society of Chicago. It is Antonio Stadivari, built in 1690, and it has a nickname, as most of great instruments do, ex Leopold Auer. It belonged to Leopold Auer. And just to think that uh, young Heifetz was listening to that very violin while a student in St. Petersburg, and so did Misha Elman and, and Ephraim Zimbalist and Nathan Milstein. The list goes on and on and on. It, it's just incredible to, to hold this piece of history in your hands, not to speak of every day for the last 12 years, to play it and to perform with it, record on it. It's, it's, it, it's an incredible feeling. When I think of the project with, with Orpheus, uh, the greatest excitement for me, I think, in a nutshell, is being able to work with this great group of musicians and to, to be able to share both mine and their ideas and to mix them together and create our Prokofiev. Playing without a conductor I, always gives me uh, a, an extra adrenaline shot. To be able to, to communicate musically immediately with, with the musicians and to, to be able to, to create this common energy. I, I'm sure it, it, it will be a very special concert.